just going to take his time drying off. All right, guys, I'm at a crossroad. So if you're familiar with the channel for the last, say, month and a half, I've been sporting a goatee. I tell you what, I really enjoyed growing it out. I enjoyed using beard maintenance products and doing lots of different reviews along the way. But I'll tell you what, it's been a pretty hot and humid summer. And I don't know, the heat and the combination of getting like food stuck in my goatee. It just one night I decided to cut it off. And last week I did my initial shave after cutting off the goatee with Gillette Skin Guard because I felt like you know, my face needed a break and I wasn't used to shaving in that goatee area. I actually used my ProGlide Power razor and matched the head of the skin guard. So I think I'm gonna follow that up with a shave for this week, but I'm really sort of torn, guys, because I'm thinking about growing the goatee back or maybe even the full beard. So leave a comment below let me know what you think i should do should i grow the full beard or should i grow the goatee back or for my next shave should i go clean shaven but for my next shave because this viewer asked so nicely for me to review this razor so the viewer abdi wahab abdi from kenya asked me to review Gillette's Pro Glide or Fusion Pro Glide Styler. And he said, please kindly. And I like that. So Abdi Wahab Abdi, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Here is the Fusion Pro Glide Styler. It just happens that any Fusion head will fit. And it really matches, guys. The color scheme of the skin guard makes a nice match to this device. First off, you have a battery that powers the unit and you have that vibrating handle. Now the marketing rub to that is that the vibrations channel through the device, go through the head, hit the hairs and sort of stimulate the hairs so they stand more erect, if you will. Keep your minds out of the gutter. And that allows for the two blades or multi-blades to do their work and cut those hairs. Does it work? I don't know. At the least, it's fancy marketing. And you know, guys, I am a sucker for marketing. I'm a sucker for marketing. But there's also another component to this particular handle. This top piece comes off. This collapses. And this becomes the nice trimmer, hence the styler. Now, when I first purchased this, I believe there are a series of combs, which I couldn't find. So I may have to get a new unit but I'm not at the level where I'm gonna be trimming the beard down or trimming the goatee down. But I believe there are a series of combs that attach to the top of the head, which allow you to trim a full beard or a thicker beard down. So I can't give you a review of that, but down the road, if I do decide to grow out the beard, I will certainly follow up with the review of that. But now I'm just gonna do a clean up under my neck. For this shave, I'm gonna go back to something I really enjoyed the first time I used it. It's the Nivea Men Deep Clean Shave Shaving Gel with Natural Charcoal. Squirt a little bit out there. Very nice gel, guys. You got a light gray color. But when you start to foam it out, it turns white. And just a little bit, as you can see, it goes a long way. So you don't want to be too trigger happy. You can apply this by hand or pull a brush in if you like that feeling of a brush. But look at that nice, healthy lather. 
It also has a nice citrusy or lemony smell to it. Subtle, but very, very nice. So this is what I'll be using for the shave. So without further ado, for Abdi Wahab Abdi, I'll be doing a quick neck shave with the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Styler. All right, so today's shave is gonna be real simple and quick. What I'll do is I'll assume I'm gonna grow the beard out because that's where I'm leaning. But I'll wait for your comments overnight and then we'll figure it out. My boy Mo, the Egyptian dude, says if you're growing a beard, you need to leave a little bit of hair down here. Now, typically I would have shaved right at the jawline, but my boy Mo says for the real beard effect, you need to leave a little hair down here. So it comes in nice and full. So that'll be the first step. So tomorrow I'm either shaving it off, keeping the goatee or leaving the beard and we'll get into beard care tomorrow. But again, leave your comments below. So let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my skin real quick and simple today. Just going to add some near hot water, steam it up and we'll get right into shaving. Nivea Men deep clean shave with natural charcoal. We'll go right into it. Try not to be as trigger happy as before. There's a warm, light citrusy smell. Very nice guys. And I'm sort of painting that area by hand. And it don't have to be perfect today. This is just a building block, just the foundation. Now here on my neck grows up. I'm gonna go with a pass going with the grain. I didn't talk about the skin guard cartridge here. Ingrown hairs, razor burn, they're caused by irritating your skin, cutting the hair too close. So about a year and a half ago, Gillette came out with this new skin guard that has these two blades, but two guards around the blades that don't allow you to cut as close, that really protect the skin. And if you can see, those two blades are sort of floating in space around these blue guarded areas. Typical to a Gillette razor, you have your lubricated strip up top. You have this bumper down here, which is also sort of lubricated, very slippy. It is lubricated actually. And on the back, you have a precision trimmer. So you could trim those areas under the nose up here. But we have a trimmer dedicated to this styler, which we'll pull out and use. So that's really the marketing rub for this particular cartridge. Again, the styler is a Fusion product, so any Fusion blade will fit. Fusion 5 would go on there, Fusion Chill, yada yada. I'm going to do another pass, and this is going to be an against the grain pass. But as you can see, I left it long because my boy Mo says that's how you do a beard. I'm going to add a little bit more of this great lather. I'm going to put a little bit more water on it so I can see what I'm doing and I don't have to fight the lather. I was sort of fighting the lather on that first pass. Again, I'm keeping the length sort of painting that area and as the beard grows out if that's the way i'm going it'll become easier and easier to see that and now we'll go with an against the grain pass again hair on my neck is growing up so traditional handle grip vibration on skin guard's very nice guys very smooth doesn't tug against the skin there's almost no way to cut yourself with this and again, I'm not trying to do too much. All right, so now I'm going to rinse off with cold water. That'll close the pores. And then we'll add our aftershave. Yeah, that's nice. We're going to go with our new long rifle Hawkeye shave tonic. 
Now, the last time I shaved, I tried this product. I said, Jackie went out and got this for me and I used it as a pre-shave oil. And when I looked at it on Amazon, it's actually listed as an aftershave. So we'll be trying it today as an aftershave. It's got a nice bright, lemony, citrusy smell to it. And I'll just put that on. Again, thank you, Jackie. Really appreciate it, babe. Oh, that's nice. So there we have it. I want to thank my boy Abdu Wahabi Abdi from Kenya for suggesting I review this Pro Glide Styler. There you go, brah. Thanks for watching the show. And I want to thank all of you in advance. Leave your comments below. Do you want to see the full beard grow out for the next month or two? Do you want me to shave it off? As always, I thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, go check out all the videos on my channel. What the hell are you waiting for? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Keep pushing play.